Hello there and welcome to PS4 Fun and Ah oh, Ratchet Clank. Ah, oh, I'm a bit late to the party here because in the United Kingdom we didn't get this until 12 days after the rest of the world, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, and there's a ton of stuff on um, YouTube already about um, Ratchet and Clank, but I don't care. It's amazing, so I'm going to do a video anyway. Um, so, here he is. Doesn't he look awesome? Little fluffy lombacks. And uh, there's his mate, Clank. Hey! Woohoo! Um, and this, um, uh, I'm just going to do a slow zoom. Slow zoom. Slow zoom. Uh, that's a bit quick. Um, uh, it's rather gorgeous. It is rather gorgeous. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a little bit of gameplay. I'm going to talk about weapons upgrades because, you know, it's all about the weapons. Um, a couple of things that um, I'm... Yeah, about it. But, I mean, very, very minor. Because it's I've played it for about three hours now and it's just bloody good fun. Um, particularly now as I have this. I have a jetpack. Oh, yeah. Um... So let's go and do some stuff. I've cleared a lot of this area anyway, so I'm going to... Oh, there's some baddies up there. Let's go and have a look at the baddies. Uh, the jetpack fuel does last a fair amount of time. You can see there's a counter in the um, left-hand side there. And here are some dudes and some brains. I've got to collect brains um, for this weird little bloke. Uh, we don't, won't do the whole of this uh, this quest. We'll just, um, just have a look at the combat more than anything. And first and most importantly, what everyone is wanting to know about, I think, is the Groovatron. Um, which is back. The Groovatron is amazing. Let's go and use the Groovatron because oh, everybody has their own dance animations in the Groovatron. Look at that. I'm going to kill you now. Back my brain. These guys actually do hit quite hard. Let's switch to a weapon. Ow. Tell you what. Awesome. Um, even the bosses have dance animations. There was a boss, a massive boss, one of the first ones you come across. Uh, and yeah, you can make him dance. It is hilarious. Absolutely ridiculous and just wonderfully stupid. Um, I really love it. Right, let's just uh, oop, do that. So I'm just playing with the audio in the background. Okay. So let's have a little look at other parts of the game. Let's go and kill some more stuff. Uh, really just so we can fly around and have a look at the gorgeous lava animations. I'm about to run out of jetpack fuel. That's fine because I can top up here. Here we go. So I just stand on this bit. Also, now one of the things you'll find is once you've cleared areas, they generally don't respawn. So if you do revisit areas afterwards to look for extra stuff, it can be a little bit lonely. Uh, let's just jetpack over here, just so we can just look at... Oh, there's the gold! I didn't see that. I didn't see that. I'm going to grab that. But obviously, once the fiery death is finished... Ow! Got it, though. Ha ha! Oh, there's turrets. which are very cool. Uh, they're a mechanic in the game, actually. They're used to blow open doors. Oh, nearly missed my jetpack there. But just look, look at the heat shimmer on it. Look at all of this stuff. This is uh, a brain beast. Um, he has five brains. I've got like 60 brains. Um, so what we're going to do is we're potentially going to fight him. I'm going to get my predator launcher out. Typical one. Have to get him out um, before we go. Oh, here we go. Come on. Here we are. Lovely. So, Predator Launcher. Come on, you. There, got ya. Oh. Ow. Ow. Bugger. Oh. Jetpack. That was good. You can save yourself now from a, a hideous doom. Oh, I think I'm all right. Yeah. Ha ha. How many have I got? I've got 12 rockets left. Nine percent. I'll finish him off the combustor. I think. Where's the combustor? There we are. Oh, ow! 
Ow, ow, ow. Stop shooting me. Yes. And I get... <laughs> Only three brains for that. Oh, cheeky bugger. Now, that's a little mini-boss. Uh, a lovely little mini-boss. I'm not going to continue any further in here. Um, we're going to go and look at some other bits, and I'm going to go and have a look at the weapons. Uh, but it's... Look at it. Look at it. I've just fought a giant tentacled brain thing using a jetpack. Oh, I love Ratchet and Clank. And the fact is that I haven't played an awful lot of Ratchet and Clank in the past. The only Ratchet and Clank games I played before this one, I played um, Tools of Destruction, uh, which was great fun. And then I did um, Quest for Booty, which was the DLC, which was just Ratchet. Clank wasn't in that one. Um, and on PlayStation Now, I played a little bit of Cracking Time on my free thing, so not very far into it. So I haven't played the original Ratchet and Clank on which this is based. Um, so a lot of people might recognize some of these levels and recognize these things, but I don't because I didn't play the original game back in 2002. I was a, um, a Jack and Daxter guy. Right, so let us find somewhere safe to go and uh, have a look at um, weapons and weapons upgrades. So let's just go down here. Awesome. There we go. Bit of health. Right, so let's have a look at our awesome weapons. I haven't got all of them yet, but I've got quite a few. Um, fusion grenades. Does what it says on the tin. Boom. Blows up. Um, predator launcher you've seen. Pyrociter. Flamethrower. Flamethrower is always the best best weapons in games. We've seen the Groovatron in action. Uh, this is the bouncer. This was the um, pre-order DLC. So you get one of these, and this is brilliant because it's a little cluster bomb thing. And you can make them more magnetized, and these will bounce around and magnetize towards enemies. They are it's very overpowered. Very, very overpowered. Uh, Mr. Zircon. Mr. Zircon is hilarious. Uh, the combustor, which is your general gun. Uh, and then we've got the proton drum, which is really cool. I don't know whether this has been in any of the Ratchet and Clank games, but that's a good crowd control. Um, Oop, crowd control ability. Let's just go back over here. And then I'll get the pixelator. Let's have a look. Which has been uh, on a lot, actually, pixelating. See, I've got tons of weapons yet to find. I'm just going to fuel up my jetpack. Yay. Oop. Whee. Right, let's uh, go over here and kill these guys with the pixelator. And let's... Uh, I pixelate them. I turn them into two-bit characters. It's brilliant. Very, very silly. Mr. Zircon was a bit too efficient there, wasn't he? Uh, oh, who are you killing? Oh, here they come. Oh, they've even a nice two-bit woo-woo-woo-woo-woo sound. That is so cool. Love this game. Right, so notwithstanding it is very, very gorgeous and it has some really, really cool weapons. The weapons do upgrade, so the more you use a weapon, they kind of gain experience, po experience points and you um, upgrade them so they get stronger. Uh, also, Ratchet upgrades as well, so his health will increase the more things. <laughs> um, <clears throat> lovely Mr. Zircon. All right, Mr. Zircon, shut up. Oh, excellent. I wanted some of this so I can demonstrate the other upgrade mechanic. So you upgrade both Ratchet and the weapons by using them. Uh, and then you can upgrade the weapons. And I need to go and find a, um, a station where I can buy weapons. There's one over here. And I'll show you how the other up, because this, this is brilliant. I love this to bits. Maybe think about right. Your Can't get the plasma striker yet. Okay, if I go to upgrade weapons, um, and this is the upgrade grid, which is really, really funky. Uh, let's, oh, I'll do this one. I'm going to upgrade. Oh, shut up, mate. Um, let's upgrade Mr. Zircon. So in the bottom right-hand corner there, there's 17,139 volts. And then there's a little uh, icon there with three next to it. And that is um, a rare titanium. And rare titanium is used to upgrade your weapons. Uh, and thankfully, one bit of rare titanium only yeah, uh, upgrades one space. So you don't, you know, don't get more expensive. Uh, but what we've also got here is a little mystery box. And if you manage to upgrade all the boxes around the mystery box, it gives you um, a, an upgrade, a special upgrade. So we're going to do that now and see what Mr. Zircon's upgrade is. So Zircon can fire even faster. Let's just upgrade that and see what mystery I get. Are you sure? Oh, yes, I do. My rare is going to be spent. 
Improved scanners allows Zircon to identify and fire on targets from even further away, so it increases his range. Nice. Um, so we can see that um, there's an awful lot of upgrades. Uh, I like the Predator Launcher. I'm going to have a go at this. I'm going to start trying to surround this. So I've got two left. Uh, this one locks onto targets faster, and I've either got acquired targets across a wider area, more ammo. That's what I want, so I can upgrade with two of those, and now I've run out of rare titanium. Once I've surrounded this little question mark, I get a special bonus. But it's really fun. You know, this is an upgrade system. You know, upgrade they upgrade just generally through use, but then you can upgrade them through doing stuff like this. It's great. So um, it encourages you to, again, explore and try and find uh, hidden raritanium deposits like you saw me uh, just now. I had no idea that was there. So that was a bit of luck, actually. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been demonstrating that today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop over to another planet and, um, and show you some other bits. In, uh, and so there'll be a quick cut and we'll be having a look at something else in just a second. Right, hello, here we go. I'm just going to show you, uh, we're still on the same planet, but hey, grind boots, may as well show you while I got them. So we're going to go up here, and we're going to do some grinding. Ooh, L1, up, wee, jump. And it's just very lovely. Uh, look at that, little bits of lava splurting all over the place. All jets of it going up like that. Uh, oh. I've got to get the mines. I've got to get the mines. Boom. Hee hee. Hup. Yeah, got it. Thank you. One more. Hup. Hey. Woohoo. Helicopters. Oh, Mr. Zircon. Oh, no. Let's use the pixelator. pixelator. We didn't get a very good look at it before. Look, it turns them into pixels. It's so cool. <laughs> Everything about this game is very, very cool. Oh, here we go. Pixelator. Wee -wee 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 -wee. Right, so don't be confused in the next part of the video when I say that I didn't get a chance to check out the mag boots. I have now found something that I can check it out on and I thought I'd record it for you because the mag boots are a, um, a staple of Ratchet and Clank which allow you to walk up walls. Oh, more mines. Get out. It's amazing how you can actually hit mines with the wrench and they don't blow up. Um, But really, just to look... I mean, holy cow. So I'm going to quickly take a snap of that. Um, it's incredible. Look at it. I mean, <laughs> uh, which one wants to be going now? I've got myself all lost. I mean, look. And completely adverse to any kind of physics. I can jump. Oh, while well, I'm doing that as well. I'm just going to run this time. Ow. Right, now I'm not entirely sure how I'm meant to do this because I fell off last time. Because this isn't... Is it Oh, it is magnetic. I don't know how I managed to fall off last time. That's brilliant. So, a little bit of extra gameplay here. I'm not sure what this does. Ooh. I've made my way into a secret blar glare. I don't know how I've managed to make my way into a secret blar glare. But there we go. That's some of the narration. I'll mention that later on, actually. It's one of my problems with it. That wasn't, the audio on that wasn't too bad, actually. Um, oh, oh, that's what I do. Okay. So, uh, all right, got time some sit. So I'm going to actually stop recording here. So you can see the mag boots. And I just like the, uh, the animation, the way that lights up around your feet. It's awesome. And I'm going to go and explore the secret Blarg base. Uh, so, back to the main video now. So, I'll mention later on that I couldn't find anywhere to do the mag boots. I found something and that's why this little bit's inserted in. Uh, so, we'll see you um, with the next part of the video in a moment. Right, we're back here with Kerwan, which uh, a lot of people have seen again in videos. Um, because this is the one where the demo took place with the train ride, and it's really good. Now, I've cleared this area, uh, and one of the problems you get is that if you return to areas, like I said a little bit earlier, you don't get lots of high-level enemies. It can be a little bare. Um, this is Zircon's there. I'm going to demonstrate... Oh, before I do that, I've got a new weapon. I've got a sniper rifle. Uh, I've got no one to aim at at the minute, but it identifies weak spots with a very clever little... Um, you can see at the bottom there's a kind of little fuzzy line right at the bottom. Well, if it's red in the middle, it's a weak spot, and you can pick people off with it. It does a ton of damage, as sniper rifles normally do. So this is the Trespasser, and this could go horribly wrong. 
uh, but it does lead me, if I get it right, into probably the final thing I'm going to talk about today before I just give a couple of my little whinges about it rather than any any major issues. So um, this is the Trespasser, one of the gizmos you can pick up. Um, lots of gizmos as well as weapons in Ratchet and Clank. You've seen the grind boots. I've got the mag boots which allow you to walk up certain walls, but I haven't found a, a wall to walk up yet to show you. So if I unlock the Trespasser, here we go. And this is, oh my god, this is the mini game. Uh, and you have to unlock... Um, it's great that the most complicated one I've come across so far is is the one I'm going to have to demonstrate. Okay, I reckon that one is... You've got to uh, light all the green bits. <laughs> okay, uh, and uh, you can force your way in, which I will do if this becomes too much of a... That's got to go there. Those two have got to go there. Okay, so that one, I reckon... Ah, okay. Let's um, go all the way out and let's see whether that one... Because you've got little things that block the beams as well. And that beam is now blocked. See that one at the bottom. Uh, oh, let's... Uh, oh, this could take a while. So I'm not very good at things like this. Uh, so that one. Let's go to this one. And that one can potentially do both of those. That's what I had before, I think. Can that one go there? Ooh. And can that one, ah, and then this one blocks. <gasps> so a little mini game, which is going to um, cause a lot of people some stress, I have no doubt. Let's get that out of the way. <laughs> you can force your way in, and if I continue to have trouble, I probably will do just that because I'm a dreadful noob. Right, uh, well, I'm not a noob, but, you know, I'm not very good at things like this. Uh, so which one is blocking that? So I'm going to bring that one over here. I know, because that does block, doesn't it? Ah. So you've got this little mini game in here. If you solve it, you get um, points. Uh, if you choose to force it, and you can force any of these, you, you're not forced to do any of these little um, little mini things, which I think is, is, is good, but you get a trophy for doing it. If you are a trophy um, hunter, I'm not, as it happens. Um, then, ooh, there we go, did it, yes. Then you're going to have to solve every single one of these because there's a trophy for it. Oh, Mr. Zircon is just so funny. He is, he's got this narrative going on. He, there was one I loved earlier on. It says, he was, little aliens, I'm going to punch you in the face with bullets and it's just a nice little thing so what we've got here is a secret area that i had to find the trespasser before i could unlock so i couldn't do it the first time i came here um and it's got a card on it and this is really oh shut up mr zircon um this is the kind of the last kind of upgrade this is the collectibles in the game so it's cards um let's go to my card collection here if i click into this uh, i've got a couple of packs to unlock so any of you who paid Hearthstone or anything like that, you'll be, oh, I've got a Rhino card, yes. Uh, you collect all the Rhino cards and you get the Rhino, which is the famous Ratchet and Clank weapon, which Rhino stands for Rip You a New One. Right, okay. So if you complete a set of cards, it will give you a bonus. So it's not just a useless collectible that's there to be, you know, looked at, which, I mean, I hate collectibles like that. I like my collectibles to do something. Now, the amount of raritanium you earn has been increased by 5%. So that's useful because raritanium is used to um, upgrade your weapons. So different sets will earn you different bonuses. Um, one of them upgraded my wrench by 100%. Uh, another one unlocks um, really, uh, really good weapons, your Amiga weapons, to use in the challenge mode, which I think is uh, one of the difficulty levels which you might unlock once you've completed the game. Um, and, you know, got a little information on them, which is really quite fun. So I'm going to stop here with Ratchet and Clank and just, th there's my, my two little whinges, little whinges. Um, and those little whinges are, firstly, sometimes, I mean, it is utterly glorious, but sometimes, particularly when you've got lots and lots of enemies on the screen, and then you're getting lots and lots of bolts flying all over the place, it becomes very difficult to see what the heck is going on. And there's so much busy work, beautiful busy work on the screen that sometimes you're going, what am I shooting at? Um, which makes it a little bit difficult. 
And the other thing is that this is narrated all the way through by Captain Quark. Captain Quark is uh, in prison. No spoilers, really, because you see that right in the first part of the game. It's in the first 10 seconds. Um, and he is narrating all of this. And sometimes the audio of his narration, which is often hilarious, um, is a bit quiet. And if you are in the middle of a firefight or other dialogue is going on, like Mr. Zircon's talking, you can't hear it. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. Um, it's not a game breaker by any means. I mean, those are the only niggles I have with this game. The rest of it is utterly glorious. I mean, look, just look. I mean, the draw distance is immense. Oh, I can see miles and all of this stuff is animated and it just looks amazing. Um, so that is my impression of um, Ratchet and Clank. It is twenty nine ninety nine. I've no idea what that is in dollars, but for a game of this quality... It is brilliant, and if you are someone who has played the original Ratchet and Clank to Death on PS2, or you played the PS3 remaster, uh, apparently, I say I haven't played either of those games, so um, this is all new to me, but apparently there is plenty of um, new content to keep you going, as well as cutscenes from the upcoming film, which was released on the 20th of, um, ooh, released on the 20th, 29th, sorry, of, of April. Oh, look, there's another card. Yay, secret place. Awesome. Um, so, uh, brilliant game. Absolutely loving it. It is funny. Hooray! It is funny. It is charming. Um, it is just well worth your time and your money. So, thank you very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Oh, Raritanium. Yay! Um, give it a like. Uh, share it if you like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. And uh, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic gaming week. Bye-bye for now. Whee! Look at the way his ears wiggle, isn't it cool?